Hey everyone, it's me Cupid 83 and Barbie 0913. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> and almost happy new year. Yes, so if all goes to plan, we should be posting this on New Year's Eve day. Well, New Year's Eve. So, oh. uh happy new year. <laughs> <laughs> happy new year too. This is our annual Christmas haul video. Mhm. Mm I know a lot of you guys like watching um, the Christmas haul videos. Gives you ideas for something else to look for. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and we love sharing what we mm -hmm. bought for each other because, let's face it, we do buy <laughs> the vast majority of the gifts to for each other and other people. Yeah, basically in the house, <laughs> yeah, that's us. Uh, so we have a bunch of stuff to show you. Hopefully some of it you find pretty cool. Um, do you want me to start? Do you want to start? You start. Okay, I will start with something I got for Christmas. Uh, it is, or not for Christmas, I'm sorry, my birthday is two days before Christmas. Um, so I tend to get a lot of Christmassy themed things. Yes. This is a Raggedy Ann doll, very Christmas-esque. And she's just so cute. She is adorable. Uh, and this was from uh, an art show Mm -hmm. A couple a of craft show. Back. A, a craft, craft show. show. Yeah. It's one lady who just sits there the whole time and then she works on the next Raggedy Ann and another one and another one after that. Yeah, so this one was super cute. Uh, and when I saw it, I mentioned I thought it was cute and it ended up oh, being wrapped up for my oh, birthday. Yeah, it did, it did. So that's Raggedy Ann. Cool. Um, something that I got, I always forget that I mess up the name Disney Numos? I don't know if I've ever heard anyone pronounce it. Numio, Numios, It's well, it's like these guys, which I've done before. These I've had these, and I ended up getting two more to join them as their pals. So we've got um, Groot and we've got Chip, and then we've got three outfits for them, which is so cute. I didn't try them on any other dolls to see what they fit, but I will do that another day. So we've got this one, and we've got like a little pajama outfit. And they can all share. So I thought those were cute. They're adorable. I wish I could see them in the store again. I know. Uh, this one's cute. I didn't realize their heads turned. Groot's doesn't turn, but Chips does. Well, actually Minnie's doesn't oh, really. Well, Chips does. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder why Chips does. Maybe it's a product control thing. I don't know. Well, if it comes off, let me know and then I'll like to sneak it. <laughs> That'll do a lot of good. Yeah. I think they're pretty good with customer service yeah. as far as customer returns. They have like magnets in their hands, so there's also mm -hmm. like props and stuff you can buy for them. Um, they're not, they don't have a. Well, actually, they can kind of sit, so they do have some sort of articulation wiring. A little wiring. wire in them, yeah. That's interesting about his head. It is. I That's don't know weird. why. Maybe because he's got the beard, the little oh. tuft of hair there. Maybe they didn't make him right. Maybe they I didn't. Maybe they. this is their second edition, maybe. Maybe. So, those are fun. I like them. I like to go with my little stuffed animals, and I had to pry them out of Nicolina's little hands. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, my other big birthday present was this doll. So cute, right? Uh, she's like 40 centimeters. She is adorable. She's a Lulu doll. Uh, and Lulu dolls are made um, by an artist, a doll artist in Poland, in Warsaw, mm -hmm. Poland. And there's a whole bunch that you can buy from her. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're just really well made, uh, well crafted dolls. They are. They're adorable. They do have a wire in them. Not on the arms, but they do have it for the legs. Yeah, so they can sit. They can, like, move their legs in various put, directions. Put them in the back. Yeah, like they they're running. They can balance on one leg. Isn't that cute? Like, they can do a whole lot, even though their arms don't have any articulation. And her head will turn. And you have a choice of what kind of hair you're looking for, synthetic or um, yeah. more hair. And That's your favorite part. I mean, it is kind of a, a thing that bothers me when it doesn't work. Let me put her hair forward here. And she has a hoodie on her outfit. And it actually it fits. fits her. <laughs> what? That was like, oh my gosh, it actually fits. Yeah. So she's just a really well-made, well-crafted doll. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and I'll, I'll just do a video on her separately too because I have a feeling this is something that you guys might like to see more of. Um, and if other people are Googling these sorts of dolls, I want it to be easily found. Um, but super cute, it came fully dressed, and mm -hmm. there's other outfits you can buy for them too. So once you have one, you could just style her differently every yep. holiday or season. And she was um, delivered in a timely manner, so. Yeah, especially Poland, from Poland yeah. during the holiday season. Yeah, so she's so cute. Yeah. I'm oh, I have to buy little, one for myself. The little cat on her skirt to go with the cats That's on her cute. hoodie. cute. Okay, um, there's like this little running theme on a couple of them that I kind of got something that Nicolina has already gotten and you've probably seen in a video. <laughs> um, I ended up getting a Aliella Dinkum doll and Lena and I are supposed to share this little rain outfit. It's adorable, isn't it? It's so cute. So this little guy had a different color um, underneath on him. He had like a, it's like a little brown instead of the white one that Nicolinas has. So it's still got the same kind of hair, but it's absolutely adorable. And the hood goes mm -hmm. on his head. So it's so cute. Um, I love the galoshes. Yeah, they're so adorable. <laughs> and um, if you remember the video we did the last time, it's an Australian company. So it's, we're getting a lot of little things out there right. in the world. But it's adorable. The slicker is so cute. And it's got, let's see, a little outfit there. Aww. A little wrinkled right now, but but it's so cute. So Nicolina doesn't quite understand the thing that I'm supposed to share it with her yet, <laughs> the outfit. So we'll we'll uh, milk it for all it's worth. Yeah. There we go. And I don't know if Lena's going to be into changing doll's outfits or if she even likes the one she has. So I figured, safer bet, if she doesn't like it at all, Lena, Grandmama here can keep all the pieces. <laughs> so it's cute. And then another one that Lena also got, but a different outfit and uh, different uh, skin tone on hers. Um, this is an amigurumi, amigurumi, I cannot. It's like a crocheted doll. Crocheted doll <laughs> by uh, Xylem, and that's the person who makes it on Etsy. And um, I picked up the one for Lena because it was a really good price deal, mm -hmm. and I thought, well, if I'm gonna ever wanna see what it looks like, I might as well do it while it's really cheap. So I got her there. And then suddenly there was one under the <laughs> Christmas tree. <laughs> because I saw it was super cheap on Etsy, <laughs> and I was like, well, maybe it's worth picking one up and seeing how it is. And then, and this was prior to Lena's birthday when she received hers, and I was like, wait a sec, <laughs> this is very confusing. <laughs> <laughs> and her name is Paris, so her outfit choice is something that you would see in Paris. So. She's a cool city girl. She is a cool city that's girl. What it is. A cool city girl. Yeah. Okay, that's what it is. So, Xylem by Et on Etsy. And you can also buy clothing for her. But I thought oh, with really? the. Yeah, you can. I think you can just buy the crocheted outfits. Oh. Um, but I got the Ali Yellow one because it fits in with my mom's My Child collection. Because mm -hmm. I still think they're very similar. They're like the cousin of My Child. Yeah, they have the eyes like it. It's they're just, just the not face. Plastic. Like, it, yeah, it's. A, it's just a cousin to my child. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, well, I feel like that would fit in. It would. Uh, so I will start talking about Christmas stuff. Christmas. Um, let's see. So for a while now, I have been uh, looking for waiting others. for and looking for Cho and Luna from the Harry Potter doll line um, that Spin Master was putting out. And these are both under the tree. I still haven't seen them in stores. But for whatever reason, we only ever got Ron and Hermione in all of our stores. So this is the first time I've seen Cho in person. Uh, and maybe I saw Hermione once. Or not Hermione, Luna once. But yeah, so now they are both in my collection. Farm and Fleet. That's they're just so cute. Farm and Fleet. Like, they're just adorable little dolls. They are cute. But there's not a lot of the boys in it. So I don't no. know if they're trying for a second and a third or... No, they only have uh, Harry uh, and then the three girls, Hermione right. and Cho and, and Luna. But they are really fun. I wish Spin Master had sent some for review. Weren't they going to? They and were they going never, to. They never came. And then I think <laughs> someone changed positions and I emailed people to follow up and got nothing. So yeah, yeah. thanks, Spin Master. So if you know somebody <laughs> from Spin Master, send them our way. 
Except we don't need these anymore because... No. Unless they come out with the second edition good. and a third edition. Yeah, because there was, wasn't there another Hermione that they came out well, there with? There wasn't a run. There was, yeah, I thought there was more. But again, we've seen a very limited stock mm -hmm. in our stores. And they only slowly came to us. Yeah. Um, let's see, what do I have here? Okay, I have a F&B Gallery Collection doll. Um, it's a scarecrow. These were supposed to be all based on um, book, storybook dolls. So I love it when I can get one that's just goes into my Oz collection and I don't have to have all four of them or anything <laughs> in there. But it's always nice to say, oh, you're a different one. So um, it has a fancy schmancy stand for F&B. Um, it was out in 92. So 1992. But it's cute. Something to add to my little people. <laughs> So, continuing on that F&B train here, um, Get it, train. <laughs> pun intended, <laughs> uh, is Pammy. She's an F&B doll that is supposed to represent the auto train stewardesses that were part of the auto train line in 1971 to 1981. So, like, basically, it was like, you could be, go on the train and then, like, stow your car and it like ferry your car with you while you're mm -hmm. on the train your mm -hmm. car is also in this like area mm -hmm. where it is going to the same place mm -hmm. and this was one the stewardesses if you call them that would wear when you were checking in your car to be ferried in this auto train right so just <laughs> like a um going on a plane and having a stewardess but um she was the stewardess for the train station yeah so she was sold in the uh, auto train boutique and the boutique car of which the i trains. think is cool i want to see a picture of that yeah i think it would be cool to see too um because she wasn't sold like in other stores or anything she was literally just like if you rode the train and you wanted a souvenir for your kid or something mm -hmm. you could go and you could buy her but really fun outfit we have like this really 70s sort of vibe going on with the purple uh pantsuit thing with the skirt and then the cute little hat it goes together with her stewardess collection i thought yeah it does it goes in really well and it's not something you usually think of like today it would be less of like uh there would be less pomp and circumstance around like ferrying your car whereas this it seems like there might have been more like glamour to it right you probably don't <laughs> even have a diner car for it anymore yeah so this she is would cool be working at. yeah i thought it was neat yeah, but this a little is... bit of history yeah and uh, her tag says hi i am pammy your hostess doll welcome aboard so. thought it was cute never saw it before thought it was neat yeah very cool it definitely fits mm -hmm. in with my like airline stewardesses yep. collection um, another thing that I got, which I knew this one, I knew what I was getting. This is Rosie, and she is a puppet. Um, the company is called, these are called puppets. It's an Australian company that was thinking of closing down. Then they started to make some smaller puppets, and they were making one of a kind puppets. You gave them an idea, and they would do a puppet um, all in um, China all the work was being done. Mm -hmm. um, she came with a different outfit, but I bought a Cinderella outfit for her. I thought she was cute, and I just thought they were adorable. Um, does it say anything? She was, let's see, she came out in September of 2021, designed by and manufactured for puppets in Brisbane, Australia. Uh, there's a website and there's a Facebook group and when you buy one you can take get a little free course online to help you do your puppet. So this is uh, Rosie and I knew I was getting her and then they were running out of the ones they weren't going to be making anymore, the big ones. So I ordered another one for myself because of course I would do that. Um, and this is, um, so that's Rosie and this is Josie. So they're cute and they're really a nice size and you can, um, their legs are velcroed so you can pull it off if you just want a half puppet. But um, I thought they were cute and the time frame of getting them wasn't too bad at all. And they come in a big bag and you have to kind of like go and fluff them. So I thought they were cute. So that's what I got. Another Australian item. Thank you. You're welcome. You're adorable. <laughs> Thank you for buying us. <laughs> You're welcome. So we'll, we'll put the website in there just in case somebody's interested in a puppet. 
You want us, don't you? <laughs> Everyone wants good. a puppet. Yes. Um, the arm rods, you had to pay separately for them. So if you wanted a, a rod, you can go get one of those too. And they're kind of a neat one. Pretty neat. But it's a nice little outfit and it gives to charity. Back to charity. Okay. Bye. Okay. You're going to come back down. I know once you get the, the spotlight, you want to stay there. All right. So I received... What did you receive? Let's see. So I ended up receiving <laughs> a lot of Naked Skipper Dolls. Uh, so we have Naked Skipper Doll 1, Naked Skipper Doll 2, and the twist or the uh, sausage, sausage curl, curl, Naked Skipper Doll 3. And this one uh, was lost and then found, but also needs a reroute. She's a project doll. <laughs> a project so, doll. Her hair would not stay flat. Yeah. Everything I tried, it would just go back up. And I was like, this is not right. So I think it's, it's kind of fried. So it needs new hair. Yeah, she, so she's a Malibu. But she was my favorite. I thought she was adorable. Yeah, I like the sausage curls. I don't have many of them. Um, so all of these guys are naked because I always complain that I have outfits and, and no dolls to put them on because I don't really change the skipper's outfits. Mm -hmm. uh, so in tandem with that, we have skipper outfits. So this is kind of fun. It's one where you're supposed to like embellish it yeah but the hat is really cool and the cowboy boots but you don't have to embellish it you yeah can keep them separate i just like the idea that their shoes are with them so if mm -hmm. you're always looking for skipper shoes at least they're in the packs yeah this is a very uh fancy cowgirl outfit yeah, it is and on the back we have some pictures of skipper as well and then we have this other stencil at fashion uh which is really fun I love the hat mm -hmm. on this particular one. The beret. So these two are from the same line. And then the uh, Party and Play and Cool Tops fashion. So Party and Play has a really fun like vibe to it as well. I wish they did a skipper with that with hair. With that style. hair? I was going to yeah. say, you want to put the hair together like that? Yeah, I wish they had done that. So that one is really cool. And on the back, there's a whole bunch of 90s girls. Mm -hmm. Like, that's such a 90s photo. Uh, and two Barbie points, if you're collecting points. <laughs> uh, and this outfit, which is cool. It's one I've never seen. It's cool tops. Mm -hmm. uh, and it just looks like a really fun outfit. Mm -hmm. Cool tops actually have a bunch of fun fashions that I don't mm -hmm. have. So, yeah. So, all of these skippers have an outfit that they can wear. I thought it was pretty cool. So, that's that. Um... Oops, this was, uh, Rosie had a purse also. Forgot that. Um, let's see. My brother manages to hunt for uh, Barbies for me. Older Barbies in boxes and stuff, as long as they're cheap. So, we had the Statue of Liberty Barbie, which I did not have. She's cute. She's 80s, I think. Looks 80s. And, oops. Got another one over here. The Summer Splendor Barbie. Ooh. Brunette. She's pretty. I can't wait to take them out of their boxes. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting to do this so I can take them out of their boxes. And um, he goes into a lot of um, um, vintage stores and he always sees Little Miss Marker and she's always a mess or she's always faded, has no color at all. So he found me a Little Miss Marker that he thought was in much better shape. She's yeah, cute. She's cute. Uh, I mean, it was from, um, she was the, it was at the movie? Oh, it must be right. That's the Sarah Stimson. Sarah Stimson. Yeah, it was from the movie. I, I never watched it. But I, every time I go someplace, I always find one. So. <laughs> she's cute. She's got a very ivory face, so she just didn't get touched a lot by the light. And uh, I ended up with a rainbow Hi, which is, this is Delilah. And um, her area of artiste is, I put it on there? No. So I have to read it without my glasses. Well, I have you. You can read it. Uh, Delilah. Delilah. Creative. Creative writing. Creative writing, because she's the one that does the songwriting. Mm -hmm. And um, I love her because she's got the glasses. She's so cute. She is really cute. She's a cutie. Okay. I, um, as we kind of 
wrap up. This is a cutie, farmer cutie, which I received. You're the cutie. Uh, he's adorable. It's definitely will go in with my cutie collection. Uh, this is one of the cuties you would have seen in like the 90s, 2000s era. Um, but really fun. I love it. It's just really fun. Right? Really cute. cute. I also received the world's smallest My Little Ponies. I thought those were adorable. They are so cute. And they're like teensy weensy. They are. Um, and they have the fun little comb. But yeah, these are world's smallest. And they're like a My Little Pony for your mini BJB or something. Like yeah, yeah, I didn't think of that. And I was just like, oh, Little Pony, My Little Pony. Yeah. It's, it's definitely you. That It's adorable. Uh, so always fun getting some My Little Pony stuff for Christmas or my birthday. And then last but not least, we have the Sharing Sisters set from 1992. Uh, it's one that I don't have, so I think I might have most of the Sharing Sisters sets. This has Stacy and Skipper and Barbie hanging out in some cool tie-dye. Uh, again, very 1992. That, of course, <laughs> they can all wear the same clothes, yes. which I always thought that was funny. They can totally all wear the same clothes, <laughs> and you'll see some of that here. Uh, where they're just mix and matching the, fash the fashions. Yeah. So really fun. I'm looking forward to taking this out of the box. Now mm -hmm. that we've done the video, <laughs> I can do that. And some of this you might see, it, you might get a closer look at in different videos. This is uh, was kind of like my big present. So this is, uh, I'll introduce Orlando to you. Orlando is a puppet that is from Palermo. Uh, we were looking for, um, there's a, a few puppeteers left, maybe two puppeteers left, uh, one in Trevia and one in Pal just the regular part of Palermo, I guess. Well, we were, Ashley was able, with my uh, son also, to um, get a hold of them and get a puppet. Yeah, I, there's a website that is... Um all based in it's based in Sicily and it's like fun things to do in Sicily I believe is what mm -hmm. it's called and they also have a, a website where they sell s items from Sicily and I messaged them asking if they knew of any puppets or if they were gonna sell them and then they did some personal shopping for me and uh, eventually we found this and it ended up here um, this is an Argento puppet uh, it's um he is Orlando, and in, it, that's a person that's in the Frankish Romantic poems that they do the puppet shows of. Uh, this is a company that's been around uh, five generations mm -hmm. of puppeteers, so it's really cool. Um, they make it themselves, it's all wood, and then the, he has the armor, and he really weighs a lot. He's literally like 22 oh. pounds. And it's like, if you watch these, you can always Google these Sicilian mm -hmm. puppet shows. Like It's kind of cool to watch some of them. Yeah. It's, um, what is it called? It's called, uh, well, I don't, didn't put the Italian name down, but it's the Opera of the Puppets, and it's Teatro Argento. That's the theater for it. So it's really cool. They, they still do visits um, with uh, tourists, show you all the puppets, let you stand and get a picture taken next to a puppet. It's mm -hmm. really cool. Um, but he is really cool looking, and I've got to find a way to not to do him <laughs> on my left. <laughs> yeah, why don't you re you can always rearrange yourself if you want him. He's like, oh, I'm so tired. I am so tired. My mom still has to figure out how to keep his him. Sword. And I have to email, maybe I'll email the company to see if there's something I could put on the handle. Because if you look at the videos of people doing it, there's stuff on like cork or something mm -hmm. here, so it's more comfortable for your hands. Yeah, usually these are all standing up and somebody's in this like a little box theater and, and working on it. So eventually we'll try to do something a little bit more on there. Yeah. And show you and we'll put a link in case you have Italian relatives that you're hunting for. But he's so cool. Um, and they also send personalized videos. So we might, maybe what we'll do is we'll splice that in with this short little segment we did. Uh, and it could be its own little thing. But very, very cool. Um, so hope, <laughs> my mom wants a whole set. It might be oh, yeah. hard to get, but. <laughs> it's really cool though, yeah. But my mom wants a lady now, because apparently the knights are like the most complicated to puppeteer. They're really hard to do. <laughs> They're hard to, well, it's just you have to keep, this is your rod, the rod that he sent with it, and it goes underneath there, yeah. and then you hook it in there. And there's two different eye holes on this, and I can only get it through one. Yeah, it's kind of complicated. So if you are an expert in Sicilian puppet maneuvering, yeah, you can write a comment. We would love any tips or tricks. 
<laughs> but he's got a really cool shield and everything. And mm -hmm. each, um, I mean, there there's a puppet museum in Palermo that has hundreds and hundreds of puppets. Yeah. So it's really cool. Yeah, it's also really nice too because this is a dying art. This art of puppet making is it's slowly dying, um, even in Sicily where it, it's a traditional thing. So if you can support these companies while they're mm -hmm. in existence, you can help them survive and plus you have a piece of history because that's it's pretty darn cool. Yeah, it is. It's the neatest thing in the world. So one other thing that was um, not under the Christmas tree, but that I did receive for Christmas from uh, a friend, Karen, from the UFDC. She sent this really fun uh, Monte Dragone figure. Super cute. It's like a gnome. Aww. And it's made of porcelain, but the face is so cute. With big ears, very big ears. Yeah, the sculpt is just adorable. Uh, and I don't, I truthfully haven't had time to like sit down and research it uh, as much as I want to. But this book here is in Italian. So, Grog is its name. Mm -hmm. Precious Stuff and Laces, Fantasy and Creativity and Original, or create, or an original and Characteristic Style, Grog. Um, porcelain dolls by Laboratorio Monte Dragone. Monte Dragono. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's created by doll artist Stefania Stefania Rossetti, hmm. uh, who is Italian. So it's an Italian artist, and it's this fun little like porcelain gnome. It is cute. It's adorable. Yeah, it's just really fun and completely unexpected. So, mm. and it just likes to jingle. He likes to jingle. Lots of angels get their wings when you're holding him. <laughs> Whoops. One was hiding under a chair. Um, this one is the Barbie Aviator. And I always thought those were cool because they were sold at the, um, the base stores. And my dad used to buy them for me from there. And um, I used to get them from there too because we both had a, a card to get into the base. So she's really cute. Hopefully her hair is not totally stuck but right it's, yeah. she's really a pretty <laughs> she's face cute. she's a face and a pretty face and I never saw her and she comes with a mini map and a poster inside so aviator special edition yeah I think she's cute she's cute so it's something that I I don't have I have the other ones that went with it but she's adorable so it's another one my brother found for me Naperville doll mm -hmm. show uh check out the Naperville doll show uh it is in January yes and we will be there Yes, we will <laughs> definitely be there, uh, and hopefully we'll have some fun stuff to share. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's that's Christmas. That's it. So, um, Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we will see you in 2023. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.